you almost had a massive dental bill. All right, in this video, we're gonna go over my favorite, the blocker save. And so many kids do this wrong. Right off the hop, I'm just gonna cut it right in the neck. The one thing that I don't wanna see goaltenders do is when they go to make a blocker save, is turn their wrist to the ground. Turning our wrist to the ground puts the puck right here and lays around the crease. That is the last thing we want. Controlling rebounds means to put it in areas that are not in danger for us. So when I'm making blocker saves, a couple things. I don't want to see opening holes, pucks can get tipped, anything like that. So I'm going to stay tight. I can shift into it, but I don't want to see this. I, we're not punching. The puck didn't do anything to us. We're not going to throw a right jab at it, which it's funny because I actually see this all the time on the ice with young goaltenders is punch and pucks. And we can't do it anymore, especially if we want to be good. So when I'm tracking this puck here, I want to have, a, I want to have my weight over top my knees, a little bend at my hips, okay? The puck's in the shot. I'm going to be pushing my nose at it. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my wrist away so it lands in the corner. And you'll be able to see where the puck goes every single time. Okay, so I'm here. All I did was I turned my wrist. And where'd it go? Right into the corner away from the net. So what we're gonna do. And I stay on it. A lot of young goalies, with our glove, we see it in and we have it there. With our blocker, we have to see it in and see it out because the play is still going. So puck gets shot, boom. I'm on it. Same thing. I can never lose sight of it. I don't want to see this one. And that happens all the time, we can't do it. We got our head here, see the puck, boom. All over it, because I got to go. It could go right to their player for all I know, but at least I'm going to now have time to get to my post instead of kicking a bad rebound out in this area from going out of play. And that's what we'd like to do. Either you put it out of play or you put it up into the glass. It's away from the danger area, which is right here. I hope we learned something in our blocker video here. Like I said, controlling rebounds can eliminate so much stress in our game. Take all the little details out into practice and do things right. Work on controlling rebounds, doing all the little things right every single time so your games have way less chaos in them. If you like this video, let us know. We love doing this kind of stuff. Check out the playlist for the rest of the rebound control series.